Lifeboat Live, we have four simple rules. Number one, we don't discuss politics, ever. Number two, this is not a religious channel, and while you might hear people say, God bless you, or I'm going to pray for you, or I wouldn't have gotten through this without my faith, that's fine. What's not fine is to say, my God is better than your God, or here's why you're not getting into heaven. It's not going to fly. Number three, we believe wholeheartedly if you can't control your tongue, then you can't control your life. So while on board, there's not going to be any cursing in the live chat, period. And number four, there is no room for mean people on the lifeboat. Because we discuss very sensitive things from people's past in our group setting, we got to protect those people. The only way they feel confident and comfortable discussing those things is in an environment that is free of trolls and mean people. So if you're a mean person or you're a troll, we're going to block you for life. And if your account happens to be less than 24 hours old, we're probably a little suspicious right from the word go. Why? Well, because there are people in this world who enjoy being cruel solely for the sake of being cruel. It's not going to fly here. But if you're here because you're trying to get sober and live your best life, then you might find that the lifeboat is just that, a lifeboat. I'm Captain Tommy Scoville, and we will see you on deck. Hey guys, what's up? Obviously, uh, this is not the the captain. This would be uh, the first mate. Yeah. Um, somebody give me a five for five in there. Actually, I can't even look at my my phone, so I'm looking at the chat on a different screen right now. Um, so somebody give me a five for five, and we'll go ahead and get moving. If you would, anybody in there? I know it doesn't matter who. <laughs> And I'll, I'll get to explaining here. I, I guess I can go ahead and start. Um, yeah. There's just stuff going on. Tommy's fine, okay? <laughs> he, he just has something that he can't get away from right at the moment. So I'm stepping up and I'm going to go ahead and do the show. Okay, guys? Um, it was either that or just take a night off. So I figured we at least come on here for a little while and we can talk. And if anybody has any issues or what have you, we can try to try to help that and we can talk about Speed bumps, um, speed bumps of you know, speed bumps of life. So, what do we do when we get those things thrown at us? When we have to go over them, um, you know, do we go around them? Do we go over top of them? Does it slow us down? Does it, you know, what does that all do when we get something thrown at us that, you know, we weren't we knew it was there, which is typically what happens with the speed bump, but sometimes you forget that it's there, and you got to navigate across it. Um, and sometimes that requires us to slam on the brakes. Sometimes that requires us to make a quick turn or just slow down enough so you can get past it. Um, and oftentimes in life, I think that that's kind of, uh, you know, where we're at with that. Um, so, you know, you know, that's kind of what we're going to be talking about tonight. Um, if anybody has anything in the chat that they want to throw at me or whatever, we can, uh, you know, handle the questions or, or what have you. Um, yeah, guys, can you guys go ahead and share the screen too? Cause I wasn't able to do that. Cause I'm using my phone as the camera. Um, and I can't get to my share and all that, button. it's a little different when I'm just here by myself. Um, so, you know, so if you guys would please share the stream real quick, um, you know, hit that share button guys. And uh, all you got to do, it, it, it'll take you right to your links. Most of you guys know this already. But some don't. Um, so with that being said, please do that. Share it to, you know, all, all your social media. You know, the face, Facebook, uh, you know. Uh, actually, if you're wa obviously you're watching this on YouTube. So if you hit share, it'll say create a post. And you can make a community post to your own channel. Mm -hmm. And that'll, you know, it's just, it, they've made it really, really easy on that end of it. Um, but, you know. Guys, we try to navigate around that in any way a little bit because we know the, the notifications are not just, yeah, you can't rely on them, guys, even if you got everything clip, you know, clicked the right way. So, um, you know, with that said, is everybody okay in there? Um, if anybody needs any, you know, if you guys want to talk about something, we can do that. Um, but uh, obviously, we don't have to stick, you know, right to this topic, but... Um, I do think it's, uh, oh, hey, Joanna, how are you doing? Um, so if I remember right, somebody said that you were, 
uh, sick and maybe in the hospital or something. I hope you're doing okay. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that's what everybody was saying. Miss V, Arizona's in here too. Good to see you, Raven. Hey, Chris. My brother from up north, baby. That's right. Hawk smash that button. Cemetery. Jesse. Jesse was first. Hey, Brittany. What's going on? Hey, Stacy. How are you? Miss V's in the house, baby. I, I seen the... Uh, I seen Leisure in there too. Oh, by the way, Leisure, just on a little side note here, man. I, I finally um, went back and went through some of my emails, and I found that email that uh, Ricky sent me. So, just so you know, um, that's kind of a whatever there. Um, I haven't had a chance to tell you that yet. I was going to tell you that tonight, but I'm just going to tell you now. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah. And, and again, guys, um, everybody, hey, CW. So I hope everybody's all right in there. Um, hey, Flamin', what's going on, bud? So, yeah. So, you know, guys, we get speed bumps. Sometimes we know they're there. Sometimes, you know, they'll install new ones. What do you do, right, if you don't see it? AT Prada, 7th, what's up? You know, so what what do we do in, the, in those instances? You know, and, and the reason I want to talk about this is the fact that, um, you know, dealing with speed bumps when you're in your addiction, using your drug of choice, is a lot different than choosing to deal with it without it. I mean, it's a lot different. Okay. And <laughs> so we got to retrain our brains to handle those kinds of situations it's going to be stressful we get that you know most of us that are in this you know, in the in the recovery world here um when you do get something thrown at you you know your first instinct is to go straight to that drug of choice right ain't that what we hey opera ain't that kind of how we're wired um, you know, and that, that's just how, that's just how we used to deal with things. Now that's not there and we have to figure out how to navigate these things. And there's a lot of, you know, and, and I call them life tools. And we talk about this stuff a lot here because everything really is a life tool. What we do here, right? We're trying to help each other sharpen those tools and keep them, you know, keep them maintenance so we can stay strong and last. So, yeah. And, you know, there, there's a lot of different ways that you can navigate a speed bump, right? You can just put your head down and just push right through it. Now that, you know, that might be good just for that second to get you over top of it. But if just say, for instance, you were in your car and you did that and you sped up when you seen, seen that speed bump, what happens? You hit that speed bump, well, it bounces you up and down. It's a little rough, right? And even sometimes it'll you know, you'll damage your car. Um, that can happen to us, right? When you get a situation in front of you, sometimes putting your head down and not looking and just going straight for it isn't the right thing to do. And so we got to learn how to do these things again. You have to retrain and retrain and retrain. And I know that it sounds redundant and all that, but it, the fact of the matter is it does get easier it does become just part of your life again, right? Because most of us that, you know, are, we're, you know, living that life for however long you lived it, okay? Um, it's a, you know, like, like Captain Tommy. He was in that life for a long time, okay? I'm sure that, and well, I know, because we've talked, <laughs> that he, he doesn't really, he remembers what life was before that, but it's so far back and it had such a, a break there with him being in that life that it, it, it was hard for him and for me too, anybody that was in it for a while to really learn how to navigate situations again without trying to go back to that. So, you know, simply just putting your head down and going for it. Yes. Sometimes that can work. Okay. But also there's other ways to navigate that, right? You can slam on your brakes. Okay, so if you slam on your brakes, it might, you know, it's going to jerk you for a minute. But then what? Then you got time to think about it before you go over top of it. So that's another way to handle it. You see it coming. 
if there's no if it's in a road where there's no parking on either side, you can go around it, right? Or you know, uh, let me tell you this: there is no shame in going the opposite direction of a problem. If that problem is going to lead you to such a really dark place, and you and you really think there's a good chance of that. There's no no problem at all of doing a 180. Just stop, turn around, and go the other way if you have to. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Keith. Good to see you. So what I'm saying is, guys, there is no right or wrong answer on how to deal with these speed bumps of life. Um, you know, it, it can be from any, from the small stuff to the big stuff. And what's small for me may be big for you. And the more and more we learn and more and more we, we share with each other and learn from each other, it it becomes a little bit easier. So now the small stuff that was for me may become a small thing for you. And what was once a big thing for me now starts becoming a small thing, you know. So all that stuff kind of works together. And, you know, so what, what, what do you do when it's a complete surprise? How you handle that, right? Well, the only way that you can handle something coming out of nowhere, right, in my opinion, is to really duck and and <laughs> duck and cover for a minute. Give yourself a second to think about things. You know, turn them hazard lights on, sit there for a second, call your friend, call whoever you need to, whatever you need to do to get your mind back straight, and then you move forward. Because if you hit that speed bump and not have any idea what it's going to do to you, the chances of you getting knocked off the road or blowing a tire is a lot higher. And also, you know, all the stuff that we do talk about here, you know, and I say this a lot on my other channel. The worst time in your life that you can remember when you were scared, right? It was probably somebody jumping out from somewhere and just scaring the crap out of you. It wasn't expected. So you your body automatically goes into that fight or flight mode, whichever who you are, doesn't matter. I'm, that's not really the point. The point is that we make we make when we make hasty decisions, they typically end up being the bad, wrong decision. So if we can prepare our minds to not foresee the future but to kind of get yourself to say, hey, listen, I know sometimes things are going to be a surprise. So when you get that mind thought and you keep that mind thought for a minute, when that surprise hits you, it's not as much of a surprise. So you don't have that tendency to go into meltdown mode. And that's that's really a big a big issue for people like us, okay? Because it really is. You know, um, we're so wired to go straight to the worst thing that, that could possibly happen in our minds. I fight this a lot, guys. I really do. This is this is my one of my biggest struggles in my my recovery and trying to stay sober and all that. Is that? And you know, because when something happens, my mind goes straight to the very worst thing that could ever possibly what whatever that secondary thing that was going to happen. Yeah, my mind goes straight to that. <laughs> I mean, every time, and you know, to the point where I won't sleep to the point where, you know, like if I, if it, when it first happens, you know, my heart will be in my throat. I mean, I get real nervous. I'll start sweating all those kinds of things. And then, find, you know, I'm, I'm starting to be able to deal with it a little bit more now. And cause I know that that's what's happening. So I'm able to tell myself, listen, man, just, it's okay. All right, this was a surprise. Doesn't mean it's going to go straight to the worst thing. Because nobody wants to sit around waiting for bad things to happen. Because I know for me that that's actually my personality, that if things are going really, really well, it's like I'm sitting around waiting for something bad to happen. That's no way to be. It's no way to live. Let me tell you firsthand, okay? Because it's a hard thing. It really is. And, you know, if you're, if that's all you're doing, are you really living life? You're not. You're living life scared. 
And nobody wants to, you know, to be like that. We just cannot, you know, and I, and I get that it's going to take all of us. It's going to take a minute to get there. Right. I've been in recovery now for 10 years and I'm not there. I'm not, you know, so we, we don't want to get to that point in our lives where we are fearing possible outcomes. Okay. So what, how do we get rid of that fear? Well, one of the ways is to prepare our minds in a way that we, we know that sometimes bad things are going to happen, but they're not necessarily going to happen when we think they are. Right. If we're, all, if we're having really good days, you know, say you had a really good week, you know, the my, in my mind, about half that time, boom, it'll pop up, be like, man, I've had a really good week. What's getting ready to happen? Okay, it doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have to be like that for you. It doesn't. It's a choice. You choose to be either that way or not. And, you know, sometimes it takes friends or whatever to tell you, hey, man, I'm in that spot right? Um, <clears throat> listen, don't do that to yourself. Sometimes you need to hear it from somebody else. And, um, you know, hopefully you guys are doing, you know, I mean, we're all, we're all doing it for each other here anyway, but outside of what we're doing here, that sometimes that's a hard thing. Some people don't have that. So, you know, go search for that. You don't have to actually physically talk to somebody. You can go watch a video of somebody made or, or whatever to kind of give you some, you know, uh, clarity in whatever subject that's that's bothering you and you're waiting for something bad to happen. Now, I, you know, mo- most of us have done a lot of bad things during our addictions, right? So we have a hard time allowing ourselves to to accept the fact that we are allowed to be happy. We're allowed. Matter of fact, that's the goal, Right? We tell each other all the time, you know, hey, man, we love you. I love you. And when, when I use that word love, I truly actually mean that. And I know that everybody else here does, too, when they say that. Um, you know, sometimes when you say it over and over and over and over again, it it tends to lose a little bit of its power when you say it. But that's not the case here. Right? It's just not. The case here is that when people say that, we truly appreciate it, right? Because we know. We know each other, right? So, and that's why when we get new people in the chat or what have you, and they see us talking like that, it actually surprises people. It really does. And, you know, some people are more open than others, and that's cool. I'm good with that, you know. People are allowed to do what they need to do, but the goal is to be happy. And the way we do that here is through love and through trying to support each other. And I, I can't tell you how, how appreciative I am of all of it. But, yeah, it's that word love is a, is a big thing. And that one particular word right there can help you navigate so many speed bumps in life. Because if you're going at a problem for the right reason, no matter what, what you think the right outcome should be, it's going to end up how it's supposed to, right? So if you're going at it the right, you know, from a, from a good point, if, you're, if it's coming from a good emotion, if it's coming from a good place, trying to get to the best that you possibly can, if it's coming from that direction, even if it doesn't hit that expectation, it still hit where it was supposed to. In other words, what I'm saying is there are things that you can't control. You just can't. Only thing you can do is control how you handle it. Again, a speed bump. And, you know, and we we see a lot of them, guys. I mean, we've talked about, you know, road construction with addiction. You know, we use all these, you know, all these, um, these sayings and stuff. And they all apply. It just helps us remember, right? Um, I can't tell you now when I drive through like a construction zone, the first thing I think about is the lifeboat because we talk about going through road construction in life. You know, it's stuff like that. And that's a positive thing because it, it keeps me focused, right? I'm not trying to find the answers somewhere where it's just going to be hateful and nasty 
or where we're just trying to find a whatever, right? Um, you know, and sometimes that speed bump gr will grow on you. It'll get bigger as you get closer to it, right? And, and you know, sometimes they're hard to get over. They are. We all, we've all seen different size speed bumps. You know, there's an apartment complex here where I live that has a speed bump, I swear, is four stories tall. <laughs> I mean, it's ridiculous how big this thing is, right? But they do that for a reason in this apartment complex because they've had issues with people speeding through there and there's kids running around. So sometimes that speed bump is necessary for life to happen at all. It's there for a reason. So we're never going to get rid of them. They're always going to be there. So how do we deal with it? Well, we talk about it. We, we do what we're doing right here. They're not going to go away. Problems are never, ever going to go away. They won't. You know, and then how we deal with them is the best, the best that we can do as people, period, even without addiction. So, you know, and, and again, guys, that this is one of those subjects that we can sit here and just talk about all day because it's pretty broad. And I apologize for this not being like more precise. Um, you know, like I said, Tommy didn't expect to have to not be here tonight. So I, you know, kind of come up with something here and just wanted to be able to come out here and give you guys at least a little bit of a an explanation on what was going on and make sure that everybody knows Tommy's fine. There's nothing bad going on or anything like that. It's just, <laughs> he just couldn't be here tonight. So, you know, listen, I wasn't here for what, two and a half weeks. So, you know, this is what we do. This is why, right? We're here for each other, just like you guys are. And again, guys, I, I would venture to say that if I didn't even come on here tonight, most of you guys would probably head over to Facebook and talk for a while. I've seen it happen. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. So, but I did, I did want to come on here and let you guys know what was going on with Tommy and, um, you know, at least throw some, at least a little bit of an idea of something for you guys to think about and maybe help you guys. Um, but you guys got any questions or anything you guys want to talk about? Um, thanks, Miss B. Good to see you. Hey, Truth. Seven sons in the house, baby. There's my brother, Chris again, Stacy, Joanna, <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, Flamin' for sure. Um, yeah, I I really do appreciate you guys understanding when stuff like this happens. You know, guys, um, you know, all of us got life, right? We all got that. That's that's just what it is. <laughs> so when you know when my partner is not there, I'm going to step up. That's just what that's what we do, right? He. He's had my back, I've had his, and we're not going to stop with that. That's This is going to continue, <laughs> and, you know, even when stuff does happen. Now, I'm not going to say that sometimes there might be something that pops up and we both can't be here, because that's possible. It's happened, right? Um, but usually when that happens, we'll at least come on here for 10 or 15 minutes and at least give you guys something. But, yeah. How you doing, Christine? Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a minute. Connect to something going on. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Jesse. Thank you for that. Um, Jesse said it, it's it's vague. It's just it just means that people will be uh able to connect connect uh <coughs> connect to it to something going on in their lives. And he's right, one hundred percent. You know, the more broad the, the subject is, the more people can kind of relate. Um and again, I know that what we do here is a little bit well, it's a lot precise on what we talk about because um, we're fighting, a, you know, a hard thing to get past and um, just trying to deal with life and all that. So, yeah, um, when it when it can be broad and, it, you know, most of the stuff we can't we talk about here, guys, you could take what we say and you can spread it out and make it broad like like Jesse was talking about there. And it will apply to a whole lot of different situations, not just what we're talking about at that time. Um, it's, these are all just good tools. Again, we fight with this kind of a little bit, you know, just trying to figure out what we should call this. And, you know, living your best life is really what we should be saying about it, um, because that's really what we're doing. 
we're trying to live our best life and and we're doing it this way. We've chosen to do that and we're chosen to be here. We've chosen to be with you guys. You guys have chosen to be with us. This is all a choice. Okay? Make no mistake that happiness is not given or taken. It's a choice. You have to make it happen. You're the one that chooses that for you. Because I can tell in what, you know, when I was uh, a young man, a long time ago, I got a job right out of high school. I got married when I was 18. I got my, I got a job a week before my, my uh, wedding and I started a week after. Right. And that job pretty much made me a man. Um, it just did. So when we're going through those jobs, man, that job there, I tell you, I don't know, guys. It's a long time ago. I know that. But lost my train of thought there a little bit. But um, when I when I got my job there, you know, I, I worked there for 20 years. And, uh, yeah, it was hard to leave that place. So that, that's one of the things that you sometimes have to deal with, leaving stuff behind. Um, and, 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 again, guys, <coughs> broad subject there. Everybody can just go to wherever they're going with it, you know. And we, we need to grab that broadness sometimes and pinpoint it in and apply it to a specific situation. And, that, you know, that's kind of what we do, right? Um, and that just just living your best life, like I said, guys. So uh, there's a whole lot of, lot of uh, broad here with the speed bump conversation. And, you know, because I, I, I was trying to think in my mind how to bring it down a little bit more narrow, but I just didn't have enough time to put anything together. So, yeah, squirrel. I'm squirreling. I got you. <laughs> You're right. I, I do squirrel. Uh, my, I'll use, I lose my uh, my train of thought quite a bit. It's you know, guys. Anybody that's ever done a YouTube channel? Ooh, come out here and do it one time. Um, actually, I'm you know, I don't get nervous, but you know, I, I you know, and I think Tommy's kind of like me. We get on here, and then once we start, we're fine, right? It's just sometimes when we're we got a train of thought and then we'll see something in the chat or something like that, it'll pull you to the side that makes it it makes it a little bit different, which is why um we try to do this as a tag team when we're doing it on a normal basis because it allows Tommy to stay focused on whatever topic he's talking about while I'm paying attention to the chat and everybody and the, and the other uh mods are too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, T Prada. Um, he Tommy's fine, guys. Okay, but he can always use prayer. We all do. We can all use those prayers. He he could use some right now for sure. Um, you know, again, it's just life happening. It's not, you know, it's not like catastrophic or anything. So just just under, just know that Tommy's okay. Um, and again, guys, I, I am sorry that this is kind of a little bit all over the place. Um, I was not expecting to, to do this tonight, but it is what it is. This is what happens. So, oh, Christine with the, what is that? Mandarin? Chinese writing or something there? Oh, goodness. So, yeah, guys. Um, Again, uh, you know, when you run into speed bumps, I guess one of the biggest tools I would say is to get on the phone. Call in that lifeline, you know. Well, you're welcome, Sarah. We look forward to this, too. I mean, we really honestly do. This is something that me and Tommy's talked about for, uh, you know, in the background a lot. We really, truly do look forward to this, and, and I, I can tell you right now that this, it's probably killing him that he's not here. Um, he might be listening. I don't know if he's listening or not right now, but um, <clears throat> most definitely. Been trying to get home for days so I can start. Yep. Hey, 
Hey, but you know what, Keith? You're still pushing it, man. And I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that, how much I'm proud of you for that. You know, let me read that. It says, I, I, I've been trying to get home for days so I can uh, start my therapy. And I keep hitting speed bump after speed bump after speed bump, pushing back my time to get home. Yeah. See, and that's frustrating, right? But in there, in that, in that, what in that what he just said there in that comment did you hear any giving up you didn't he didn't give up he hasn't given up he's seeing those speed bumps and even though he wasn't expecting a few of them he's navigating it he's still pushing forward okay um it's like this, like I, you know, I, I do the space weather thing, so I talk about the earth and all those kinds of things. And, um, you know, when you're, the earth is never in one spot, right? You're always rotating. It's always rotating, so it's always moving. And believe it or not, sometimes things can kind of glitch out, even with our planet. And things can move a direction you didn't think it was going to. But my point here is that it's always moving. And you can you can apply that in a, in a different way, too. A lot of people always say, well, if you're not moving forward, then you're moving backward. Um, in some ways, that's true. But in other ways, I don't think that that is the correct way to try to get your mind to think about it. Um, but I do think that it would, you know, making yourself trying to move forward always, right? Until you need that, sometimes that speed bump can make you stop and think, right? So at that point, you're not going to move until you figure out what you want to do, right? So Keith, I can't tell you how much, how proud I am of you just for just keeping at this. This is something that, um, unfortunately, because of our, you know, the way that things are in the world today, it's made it, a, it's made it a little bit difficult, especially for somebody that drives a truck like Keith. Okay. Um, you know, for somebody that gets into a, a treatment facility outpatient or inpatient or whatever, whatever, as you start living life again, um, you know, you, you're going to get, have to deal with these things. And the way the world is with the whole medication thing and, and how everything is watched and looked at and stuff like that, it's really, it's a narrow window that you got to go through to get what, you know, what has turned my life around. Just so everybody understands that it's worth it for me. Right. And I, I think that Keith is doing a wonderful job just from staying that way and, let me say this too, Roxanne, if you're listening, um, thank you for being there for Keith. I know you're his wife, but let me tell you something. There's a lot of people that are married that wouldn't get that. You know, and again, I was fortunate enough to find my best friend as my wife. Hey, Keith, what's up? And, you know, it's, it's, uh, even, even when somebody's trying to help you as much as they possibly can, it still is hard. Okay. But let me tell you this guys, it gets easier. It really does. I promise it really will. Um, and that's, you know, for us that, you know, are fighting withdrawal or whatever, when you're going through those kinds of things one of the hardest things that we have to deal with is that there, there is no clear cut, cut finish line, right? When somebody has a goal with like anything else in life, pretty much that they know where the goal line is. Well, in addiction, that goal line is in a different spot for everybody. So, when you're doing that, it, it, it's hard to, it's hard to be like, Hey, yeah, this is my goal, but I don't know where the end of it is. Right. I struggle with this myself. And the way that I deal with it in my mind is that as long as I'm, you know, on this journey, 
then I'm, I'm moving towards the goal line no matter where it's at. I'm not saying that that makes it any easier because it doesn't. Because it is easier to get to a goal when you don't when you know exactly where it's at. And unfortunately, with what we do here, we that's just never going to be the case, right? So we got to get these tools on board so we can, you know, hit that goal. Now I'm talking long term goals, guys. I'm not talking something that's you know, hey, you know, I want to go do this tomorrow or I'm going to go try this tomorrow. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking like big life decisions. Even big life decisions like trying to get a new job. Most people will put a timeline on that. And that's something that I've been taught not to do by my counselors, to be honest with you. You don't really want to put a timeline on things because when you don't hit that timeline, even though you were moving forward, as long as you can accept that, some people can't, right? You know, the goals are there to push us, and that's what we're supposed to be doing. So we keep moving forward. We keep moving forward. Every once in a while, we're going to get knocked back. We're going to have to go to the side. We're going to have to stop. We're going to have to call in a substitution for a minute, just like tonight. Not that Tommy's in a bad way. I'm not saying that at all. But sometimes people got to step up and help you, right? And uh, Or we got to step up, be the one. And oftentimes that is us, right? We're doing that for each other. So yeah. Oh goodness, guys. Um, I again, I'm squirreling again. I really wish I had uh, brought this down to a more specific subject, so I could have uh, been a little bit more precise in what I was talking about. But sometimes, like Jesse said, it's good to be vague a little. That way, it can apply to a lot of different people and a lot of different things. But again, Keith, I, I can't tell you how much how proud I am of you. Um, and just keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. And uh, he, I didn't hear no get, give up in that comment at all. So, yep, Christine. Yep, exactly. Yeah, you, uh, thing is, though, you understand it, right? And that's, and everybody knows that, so. (laughs) And that's, that's a great thing. I can't tell you how, guys, I I mean, Christine's been, you know, a mod for me for a very long time and uh, quickly become friends. I mean, it's not something that was as like, you know, hey, (laughs) you know, we truly care, right? So, yeah. And, uh, guys, I want to say this too. We need to support anything that's positivity. You know what I mean? Um, and it, it, this is what we need to do. So we got to be there for each other. And if there's other people out there doing positive things, we got to push people that direction, try to help them. Um, cause the more positivity in the world, it's not that, that can, that, that can never, ever be a bad thing. It just can't. Um, uh, and I am so thankful to have found, you know, this boat. Um, I'm so thankful to call you guys, my friends and family. Cause like Tommy says, we choose, we can choose our family. Cause that's why we're here. We've chosen it right here. And, uh, it's a great thing. So, yeah. So if you guys got anything, type it in there real quick. If not, I'm probably going to go ahead and end the stream here a little bit early. Um, Sorry about that, but yeah, I, I, my mind is squirreling quite a bit tonight. I apologize for that. <clears throat> yeah, Joanne, prayers for you. How's my family's health? Yeah, I guess I could talk about that for a second. <clears throat> yeah, guys, we're starting to get over that hump now. Um, Anybody that hasn't had, you know, C plus math, um, one of the biggest things on the back side of it, back at you, Leisure. One of the biggest things on the back side of it, yeah, Christina just uh, 
uh, posted Mark Pyre's uh, link, guys. Yes, please go over and check him out. He's going to be live. You know, he might be live now. I'm not sure what time he's going live tonight. But, yeah, go check him out. Mark Pyre's Renaissance Man. Christina, you know, drop that link there. But, um, yeah, now, see, I squirreled again. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. My mind is just not focused. Wow. What was I talking about? Somebody remind me. Please. Man, I tell you, I cannot think. Wow. Man. Oh, he just, yeah, yeah. He just go, he just went live, Raymond. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, yeah. Uh, oh, my health. I was telling you guys about my health. We, we are getting, you know, we're getting over that, right? And, um, well, on the back side of, you know, C plus math here, one of the biggest things is fatigue. I can tell you right now that that's what's killing me. It really, I mean, it's especially about, about a week ago, I couldn't even walk across the house without getting, uh, winded. It was really that bad. Um, I haven't felt like that in a long time. Um, you know, and I fight fevers constantly. Uh, I'm sitting here right now with a fever. It's not real big right now, but, you know, <laughs> it's still a fever. Um, believe it or not, guys, a fever at a, like a lower rated fever is actually good for you. It's helping your body fight whatever it's, you know, what it needs to. It's actually a, a byproduct of your body fighting something. Uh, you know, when it, you know, sends out all the, antibodies, the white blood cells and stuff, your body's active even though you might not think it is. And uh, it's a, yeah, it's a, get that fever up there pretty good. I've, you know, I've had a lot of different health issues in my, in my past. And, you know, I know leisure fights it a lot. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of health stuff, guys. And uh, yeah, sometimes that does make it a little more difficult to do what we do, you know. As far as staying staying sober, yeah, my family my family's doing okay. She, my wife actually went back to work. Um, she got the infusion therapy, and it helped her a lot. Uh, it, it really did. And again, I don't want to get on some sort of medical talk here because you know it's not. I don't have a degree or anything like that. This is just you know, like the disclaimer said, it's just us sharing what we go through in life and uh but you know what guys you know what we're fighting right now you know for people that are in recovery or sober whatever you want to call it um this whole c plus math thing really had made it you know i'm not saying it didn't make it hard on everybody but it made it pretty difficult here um so yeah oh something else guys anybody else that's out there um you know Keep an eye on your pharmacies. Um, there's a big chain getting ready to shut down, like a thousand of them. Uh, so just kind of keep an eye on that. Just a kind of a pub public service announcement. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to say the company name there, but um, it's one of the biggest ones. It's a three. It's three letters, and it's in red. I'll say that. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. They're not all going to shut down. It's just, I don't know what's going on with their corporate or whatever, but I have to deal with this on a weekly. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I actually had to switch to a different store because of it. Everybody's, uh, you know, <laughs> I look around my town and stuff and it reminds me of when I was a kid. What do I mean by that? I mean that stores aren't open 24 hours like they like we all became accustomed to. And it's, it very much reminds me of when I was a teenager where everything would shut down at, you know, nine, 10, 11 o'clock midnight. If you were lucky, a store might be open except for a gas station. Um, but yeah, that's right. I like it. I like them uh, oldies for sure. Love it.
So yeah, guys. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this, guys. I, I don't really. Uh, I'm squirreling around again. I don't want to do that to you guys. I don't. You know, I don't want to just come on here and do this. And anybody that follows me on my other channel, I haven't given up that channel. Okay. Um, like I said, guys, I am extremely fatigued. Uh, just doing this is that's about got me done. Um, <clears throat> and, and and I don't like to come out here and talk about that kind of stuff because it's not a positive thing, you know. But obviously, I can still use prayers. Tommy could use prayers. Joanne could use prayer. Everybody here, guys, it, it's just or you know whatever you do doesn't necessarily have to be prayers. You, you know, love and, and light and all and, you know just good thoughts, right? Um, so I really do hope that people do that for each other. And if you ever catch yourself getting to, you know, you come up cr across the speed bump, it's not a mistake just to stop and make sure you know how big it is before you go over top of it. Okay. Um, just know that. And I'm talking about situations that happen in life. You know, obviously that's just an example using it to, you know, help people understand my perspective here. But I, I really do hope that people can understand it, that it, it's just about living your best life, especially when we're talking about speed bumps. Because sometimes the best outcome is a bad outcome. So I really would, I hope people understand that. You know, sometimes you can just get the best possible outcome that you can get, and then you move on. So that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, it, it just touches so many subjects there. Okay, guys. Um, I love all you guys. We will be back tomorrow at the same time. Um, if if uh, Tommy's still uh, trying to get his end situated tomorrow, I'll definitely be a little bit more prepared. Um, we've talked about that anyway. I think I might have something prepared just sitting on standby in case something does happen in the future anyway. So that, that way we can stay a little bit more focused. And again, I am sorry I squirreled because I did a lot. <laughs> You get something else I want to say. When you guys see me right here, I'm at, I'm sitting in my in my living room, well, my dining room, if you want to call it that. It's one big room, and uh, yeah, and I got kids and everybody running around, and I just got really good noise background noise cancelization on my computer. That's why you guys don't ever hear them. <laughs> so, but anyway. Oh, no, I, okay, yeah, yeah, Leisure. Um, listen, guys, I haven't given up on that channel, just so you guys know. It's not that. It's just I, I, I will be there. Um, fortunately, nothing really big has been going on, so. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I think I am, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So I think I will go ahead and end it. God bless. And, uh, you know, what's Captain say? Go out and try to save somebody.